Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Terrarium here at Geetopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. That's Trevor. And today, we're bringing back one of our favorite champions, apparently. But it seems pretty good for this, because she's super powerful. Yeah. And she's so good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but before we get into it, go remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. And today's deck is called Scrapyard. And who's the who's the top person? I can't even... Who, who owns a scrapyard? Is it not like a commander or, I don't know, a boss. Okay, we'll just say the workman boss. But it's Hoina, Immoral Conjurer, the champion. When, when you destroy a tower or unit in battle, place one counter on this card. Remove three counters from this card, put it in the golem, and to play 1500 token. It's super powerful. Yeah, she's so strong just because she can continually put pressure on the board mm -hmm. at any turn. Yeah. Because you can just have the counter sit on her for a while and then be like, hey, cool, now I get to make golems. At the end of your turn, I have two new dudes. What do yeah. you have to do about it? Thanks. And of course, uh, our spirit is actually Spirit of Ursertovis. It's the new bear red spirit. Exhaust, pay two, target unit gains plus 1,000 until the turn. And if it costs four or more, it gains destroyer, which is super nice and beautiful. Yeah. Seems good. And then soul burst, if you need to, all units you control get plus 1,000 this turn. Simple as that. The first card of the deck is the Carrier Mecha Kyari. It is zero for a 500. You place as place on one of your mech units. Exhaust, choose one. Search your deck for a shard mecha unit and place it under this card. Put into play as many shard mecha units as possible that are under this card. Wow, this dude is very dangerous, yeah. but he's kind of cool. If you have a way to protect him, because when you exhaust to do that, or you just do it at the end of their turn, so that way it's protected a little bit. Because then you get free dudes. Because you're like, cool, exhaust, put this dude on here, put this dude on here. But it's just, it's still kind of dangerous. Because if they kill it, you just lost all those dudes. Yeah, like, just put it in the graveyard. We'll see. It's very weird, and we'll definitely play it out. Yeah. And of course, the Shard Mecha Shiru. It's a one drop 500 Guardian. Run. Search your deck for a Shard Mecha Bukai and add it to your hand. Simple as that. Yeah. Next up, Daylon the Conjurer's Raven, two for a 500. Arrive, if your champion is Huina, choose one. Put three counters on your champion, remove all counters from your champion, then search your deck for a non-legendary unit with cost equal to or less than the number of counters removed this way and put it into play. It's pretty cute. This little Raven's really strong. It is legendary, so you only have one, but you can either get free counters on your dude or get a big dude. Yeah. So basically you're paying two for uh, 2,000 power technically because you can just pop a golem immediately after that. So mm -hmm. who knows? Next one is Miss Shaper. It's a two drop 2,000 legendary. Uh, Arrive, search your deck for a unit that has the same name as another target unit you control. Add it to your hand. Kind of simple stuff, just a simple cheap dude that go gets another dude. Mm -hmm. Next up is the Hellish Guardhound. It is three for a 2,000 guardian and he arrives. Target unit cannot attack the next turn. So that's pretty good. He just comes into play and he's a big guardian that says, no, you stay home. That's cool. Shard Mecha Tupasa. It's a three drop, 1500. It has a brawler, so it can swing into a unit if when it comes into play. And then Ruin, search your deck for a, a Mega Shard Mech Titan Yugo and add it to your hand. Uh, next up is the Shard Mecha Prime King Warku. He's four for 2000. Uh, he is unblockable. While you control underground mech base, you may play this card from your discard zone as if it were in your hand. If you do, expel this card when it leaves the field. Arrive. You may discard a card. If you do, search your deck for an underground mech base and put it into play. If you do, you may also add a shard mecha unit for the total cost 3 or less from your deck to your hand. So you lose no value. Yeah, so you get all the value city of you want with this guy. Yeah. Seems ridiculous, seems cool. Yeah. Especially if you just discard a three or less, which will work out. Yeah. Next one is a two drop, uh, 1000 Shard Mecha Bukai. It has target attack, and when this card attacks or unit, attacks a unit where it's blocked, it gets plus 500. And then root, search your deck for Shard Mecha Tupasa and add it to your hand. Yeah. Next up is the Battle Angel of Dominion. She's fire for 2500 Angel. Arrive, you may reveal an Argent card from your hand if you do destroy a target unit. Simple as that. Which, this card is nuts. Yeah. Like, yeah, it costs five, but it kills anything. It does not care what that unit is. Nope. I will kill you. 
And if you listen to any of the cards that we've talked about, they're pretty much all Argent. <laughs> yeah, so all of the cards are Argent, right? What will happen? All right, this one, sadly, of course, is not searchable by any of the search things because it's a, a Mega Shard Mech and not a Shard Mecha. So Titan, you go, it's an eight drop, 4,000, but you can cheat into play. You may expel three different Shard Mecha units from your hand and or slash discard zone rather than pay the cost. And then once per turn, discard one card, destroy target unit or augment, which is extremely powerful and never gets old. Yeah, I've gotten to have this dude sit in play and it the game shifts to your side really quickly. Yeah. Because you're like, hey, kill that dude. I don't want this card. Like every draw you get to do is a kill spell. Yeah. It's and, pretty neat. And you can do it on once your turn and once their turn. So enjoy that. Yeah. First spell we got out of the deck is Revival of the Sun. It is X and put into play a target unit with X minus one from your discard zone. So you want to make sure if you're getting a four drop, you got to pay five because it's X minus one. Yeah. So, so be it, but you get a free dude back. Yep, exactly. And one of the most powerful kill spells is Delayed Poison. It's a one drop augment, equipped a target unit. At the start of your next turn, destroy that equipped unit. And of course, uh, with augments how it works, if you equip it on their creature, they control it. So on their next turn, on the beginning of their turn, it just dies. Yeah, super powerful. Next up is the underground mech base. It is two for a augment. You exhaust. You discard one mecha unit from your hand, draw one card, and then place one counter on this card. Sacrifice this card with three or more counters. Put three shard mecha units with different names from your discard zone into play. So you can get all the crazy shard mecha dudes when this is in, when it's got the counters on it. So you just be like, hey, I want these three dudes back. Yep. Boom. Just like that. Sounds good. Uh, next one is Omega Magic Yami. Two drop ends the cast. Choose one or two if you have two or less towers remaining. Target unit gets minus 1,000 until end of turn. Or return target unit you know, it costs three or less from the discard zone to the field. So it just helps you get all your stuff back. And then lastly, we have Helena's Wrath, which this card is nuts. Yep. It costs six, but it costs two less to play as long as your champion is Helena. Put into play two Berserker Golem tokens that are 2,000s. Then each non-Golem unit gets minus X this turn. X equals the number of Golem units you control. So it costs four mana to automatically give you two 2,000s yeah. and clear the board for 2,000 to non-Golems. Yeah. What, what's so bad about that? And, it, and it's just by bare minimum two. If you have more Golems in play with her, then it's three. Yeah. Or four. Or just for, whatever for, you have. For four mana. For, yeah. Like, good, great. Yeah. Seems good. I have a board and you don't is what that card says. Yeah, for sure. It's gross. And I don't know if anyone has seen the second season of Castlevania on uh, Netflix, or even the third season, season now, but uh, that kind of reminds me of the summoner dude that just mm -hmm. summons monsters. All right, and of course the shards, we're, we're going super basic. We have the Spirit Ruby, a legendary shard, exhaust, flip your... Spear face down, destroy targeting in it. Simple as that. And then of course Argent shards, for sure. Yeah. Because uh, the redstone does stuff with dragons and we don't we don't have any dragons, so no need for that for sure. Oh uh, with that, uh, the deck looks uh fun and just a bunch of mechas coming out and golems. I mean yeah, mech's always a good set and it's just gonna be interesting to see how it plays with black. We've played with a couple other colors and it's just a really strong deck. Oh yeah. Especially with the new cards with the Omega unit, just searching all your dudes with different yeah. names so you can bring the Titan in for no reason. Yeah. So it's good. But with that, hopefully you enjoy the, uh, the deck. Uh, the deck list will be down below, and you have a good day. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, we just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It will give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.